now dear student we are going to discuss question number 2.11 and in this question it is given a 600 pico farad capacitor is charged by a 200 volt supply clear so whenever you find such a question first draw a circuit diagram like this a capacitor is connected with a battery and this battery is having potential difference this is 200 volt and this is 600 pico farad clear and my dear student this question is very important because some because this question is generally asked in competitive examinations like JEE main NEET clear and this is also important in board examinations clear so now concentrate so a 600 picofarad capacitor is charged by 200 volt supply okay it is then disconnected from a supply and connected to uncharged 600 picofarad capacitor so now we can say let's suppose this is a charged capacitor and this is uncharged capacitor this is given to you 600 picofarad this is also 600 picofarad clear to you okay now what is concept here so first we will find total charge that is present on this parallel plate capacitor so let's suppose this is q1 q1 is given by this is c into v c value is given this is 600 into 10 to the power minus 12 into v is given to you this one and we can say this value of q1 we have in coulomb yes or no so now we can find here value of q2 now you can say here we have two capacitors and both are connected in parallel so let's suppose this value we have c1 this is c2 so c1 and c2 are connected in parallel equivalent we can write like this c1 plus c2 clear c1 plus c2 so we can write like this c1 plus c2 and this is multiply let's suppose we have common potential across this parallel plate capacitor this is v clear so now we can say this is v actually you can also see because both are connected in a parallel potential difference remains same clear now we can say if we talk about this system so total charge on this system it always remains same yes or no so we can write like this this 600 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 200 this should be equal to c1 plus c2 we can say this is 1200 into pico means 10 to the power minus 12 into v clear from here you can see this one and this one cancel out this is 2 so from here we can say v is given by 100 volt clear now our objective in this question is to calculate lost in electro lost uh, lost electrostatic energy clear for that one first we find initial put initial energy initial energy is given by half of cv square c is given to you 600 picofarad clear and v square v is given 200 square so we can write like this 4 into 10 to the power 4 clear from here we can say this is 2 so this becomes 1200 into 10 to the power minus 8 clear from here you can say this is 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 joule so this is initial electrostatic energy in an capacitor clear now we will calculate here final potential uh, final electrostatic energy clear so final electrostatic energy we can write like this u final this is 1 by 2 c1 plus c2 into v square clear so 1 by 2 c1 plus c2 this is given to you equivalent we have 1200 so 1200 picofarad means 10 to the power minus 12 into value of v value of v is given to you this is 100 we have already calculated common potential this is 100 clear so we can write like this 100 square means 10 to the power 4 clear we can say this is 600 into 10 to the power minus 8 clear or we can say 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 joule so now we can say initial energy we have 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 final potential energy final electrostatic energy we have 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 so now you can say sir where is the energy is lost clear and if energy is lost what will happen here actually whenever we inserted a dielectric half of the energy is stored in uh, between the parallel plate capacitor and half energy is actually utilized to do some work to attract that parallel plate capacitor inside a parallel plate capacitor yes or no and that extra energy it is provided by a battery clear so now we can calculate total lost in energy this is u initial minus u final clear u initial is given to you this is 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 minus 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 clear so we can write like this total lost in electrostatic energy 
this is given by 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 joule clear so this is all about solution of this question clear